again folks. Um, I was just looking at some of my old videos and I realised that I never went back to um, do something that I said I would do on uh, on this game which uh, was to um, take a look around the infotarium at some of the animals. I haven't got all the animals because some of them are nigh and impossible to get. Like there were certain voles that um, dig into the ground and they disappear whenever you get near them, which makes them extremely hard to do anything with. Are you like a, just getting re-familiar really with the surroundings? It's really odd when you haven't played a game for a while, isn't it? You go back into it again, it's like, oh my god, what do I do? Where do I go? What's the objective? What am I looking at? But, anywho, right, I said I'd show you some of the infotarium. So I'm just going to wander over here for no good reason that I just haven't played it for a long while and I just want to have a little duck and bugger off you, Meg. I never did do that, neither. Ugh, I can be asked today. It's still a lovely view, that, isn't it? That's your... Uh, That's your big introduction to the game, is that when you first come out of your pod over there. You see this, it's your first thing you see of the game. It's rather delightful. I'm sure most of it's just flat pieces in the distance. I mean, it's extremely hard to tell when things are far away. <coughs> I dare say things like that big mountain there are just probably just flat pieces that are standing on very simple shapes anyway. Um, Close-up stuff of course being more three-dimensional. It's the same tricks that they use when they're uh, making 3D on movies. Uh, you may hear my cat in the background. She hates me doing this because she's not getting any attention when she wants some. I can't just keep stopping to give her huggies. So she moans a bucket full. And every time I put this helmet on, she goes nuts. Doesn't like it at all. And she's sitting right by me. Ow. So if you hear any jingles or any meowling, that'll be her making herself known. Just cuz. Okay, let's get on with it then, shall we? Uh, shall I stand on the designated spot over there for no particularly good reason? Look out into the distance. La la la. Okay, right. Now, I've got to remember my bloody buttons now. Let's see. Um, I think. Uh huh. Okay. Um, no, that's not right. No, I'll press the wrong one. It's. Ah, trackball. Still remembering. Infotarium, there it is. Creatures. Now, as I say, I didn't get them all. A fair few, though. Uh, there are obviously a few that I haven't even seen, which is interesting. I mean, there's there's one swimming around that in um, in my life pod that I've never seen in the environment. So possibly you need to check the waters, and I don't think I've managed to scan a fish. Did I? Did I manage to scan a fish? And I know where to get a fish, but I don't think I've managed to scan one. No, I'm not seeing one. No, I think I may have missed that. Oh, may as well got a tar worm. They're hard to get. But, see, what happens is... You can look at them. See that? You can make them turn. No, hang on. If I try to... Let's go stroll over. And take a look at a beetle. Or six. You can move your joystick like this. We can have a good look at them. And that's a pretty one, isn't it? Some of them move and some of them don't. I'm not sure why that is. But these ones evidently do. And there's ridiculous detail on these things. It really is. Iridescence as well, I've noticed on some of them, like that one. A little iridescence happening there. 
second, I don't see some pixels on that one. But bear in mind in the game, they are beetles. Tiny, tiny, tiny things. Isn't that lovely though? And then they put these in these environments. And some of the environments are quite funny. I think because sometimes they're quite hard to uh, to collect. So when you do manage it, there's a bit of a reward to give you a bit of an amusing environment for your troubles. It's only disappearing as they get close to them. <laughs> right, let's try another. I'm going to go through all of them, I shouldn't think. These are everywhere. Can't imagine anybody ever collecting all of them in the game. That is part of the game. If you're a completionist, is that the word? Completist? I don't know. If you like collecting everything. I notice these aren't terribly detailed. See, they're just flat. They're not doing that thing where they stay face towards you either. The plants I'm talking about, of course. Yeah, all games have their limits. Now you were a difficult one, I remember. Oh, that's a bit high up. Hang on. Step backwards. Oh, I think I need to be lower down. Be very careful to sit on the cat. Right, can I see you now? Oh yeah, he's in there. Thought it might just be his head sticking out the top, but no. Nope. Very nice. Some mushrooms. So look at you. No movement on these ones, I notice. Some do, some don't. You get the information about them. I don't remember now, I haven't played this game in a while, why there are so many Earth creatures on this alien planet. Did we bring them? I presume we must have brought them. Step back in this hands again. That's better. These ones are a right pain to get, so you get a slightly more amusing backdrop. I don't know if there's actually that rule about them. We must admit this one's fairly uh, creative compared to some of the others. Again, no motion. No, how much detail on these? It looks a tad unfinished. Didn't have an eye for a second. It's a little ill defined, it's there. I'm getting cook or slip. There we go. Ew. I'm not sure I ever saw those in game. I assume they're its eggs. So that's presumably its young moving around. We can guess. The 
a snake with legs, I notice. Two of them, I went. Oh no, there's some. Oh. Are they complete or just. Uh, oh, wait, that's his tail. Oh, there's more there, look. So he's sort of like a long salamander, really. arrangement of things. Very few of which I remember seeing in the game. Which more half of those things are? Drums? trying to remember when I look at things that for some reason what the game records is a good deal higher than what I see so you have to look at things and sort of remember to dip a bit to get them recorded right don't know why that is it's a little odd is there something floating in the middle there there is isn't there that's a little odd there's a little fleck Intersected by a teddy. <laughs> Post with some description. Well, these are obviously written by um, by Meg, as I call him. Ooh. Maybe step back. <laughs> oh, yes. I wish you got to see more of this guy. When you do get to see him, you don't get to hang around and have a good look. You're too busy running. A handsome beast, though. This is lunch. Ooh, have a bit of a walk as well. Very detailed texture. Hello, mate. He's lovely. detail on that one. Weird that you don't get to see it very much. I had something like this as a pet when I was a kid. There was this short lived thing. It was one from a pet rock I suppose. Could never keep the damn things alive though. I think they were called tree crabs, if I remember rightly. I've got a feeling our local pet shop just got normal run-of-the-mill hermit crabs and called them tree crabs, because they never lived. Well, taught me a thing or two, I suppose. Buys. That's very detailed. Many 
different varieties, obviously. Clear that notice I had little claws. Looking after our scarecrow there. Just the one. I don't know. He's got a friend. He's a mouse. He's more akin to an armadillo, aren't he? Shrew, perhaps? Have I ever noticed they had whiskers before? These guys look very threatening, but are never a threat in the game. I mean, they look terrifying, but they never ever were a threat. This guy's going for it, isn't he? Lots of nice detail on you.
that's a cheese plant, isn't it? I know you had one of those in the 70s. My guy. Or a girl. Well, I tend to use guy as interchangeable sex anyway, so hi guys. face really. No way. Look how I've managed to get a velociraptor. They've got feathers in this game as well. <laughs> oh yes I did. I did get a raptor. Oh look at that in a minute then. These guys. Trouble these ones caused were pushing things over. Remember them running around the spaceship? It was a crash ship. Yeah. Not as detailed as you'd expect for a tiny insect, much like the beetles were.
Presumably. Is it going to be hard to do? Let me just check for a cat. If I can get that low enough, it's going to be tricky. I should be able to look down there. So I figured you probably could. Nicely detailed chain. Anyway. A slug. still like this and they'd suddenly move, wouldn't it? Maybe they start to move when you've collected enough of them. I think I've only got one. It's possible. I don't know. See how it has feathers? Worth a blow every now and again someone thinks to put that in with the microphone. Oh, if I move it quickly they'll move. There you go. Come on yoing, come on yoing, come on yoing. He's got his tongue hanging out. Bit of a derp this one. This one's rather handsome. Oh, look at his feathers. Lovely. It's Hans, your mom, your gremlin, Hans. playing bowling. Probably best not to ask. I want to get a bit closer to you. Hold on. That's a strange place to have eyes. Well, I guess it works for you. I don't suppose this lovely iridescence is really coming across in the video because of course it's different for each eye for me. So 
it's got a quite beautiful shine to its skin. Getting rather lovely. Oh, it could swim with its tail, apparently. That's interesting. I like him a lot. I don't think I've ever got a good look at these guys. They just pop up in the dark and disappear again. You never got to have a look at them. Hang on, I'm not getting a look at them here. Hang on. Oh, I think I'm going to have to stand and then do this. Oh, back a bit. Oh. Okay, now I can get close. Wow, you're ugly. Really, really ugly. Get a really nice iridescence on this oil. Ooh. That hadn't occurred to me till now. So that's what the rest of you looks like. You never see that in the game. Shell lots, I'm afraid. One of these days, I'm just going to go and stroll around the entire place and just see if there's anything else to be seen. I want to be select one of these. Uh, and get his messages. Esmeralda Command. Hello? This is Colony Higgs 11886 from the autonomous Go Ahead Probe. I am pleased to report we have successfully reached Tyson 3. Atmospheric entry of all agricultural capsules is currently in progress. As we still haven't been in communication with you for years, we immediately initiated our own landing protocols. And oh, fascinating. Didn't click onto those then. Presumably, all you get for it is a trophy. All you ever seem to get for collecting things in games is a trophy. I never find terribly interesting myself. I'm not a completist. Well, there you go, boys and girls. Hmm. Well, I'd better go give my cat the attention she desires. some sort of a sequel, or at least something very similar. There is just something very lovely about wandering around a virtual world like this. There really isn't enough of it about. Well, thanks folks, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>